What is up, guys? How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing well. Having some fun on a Tuesday. Coinbase week. Excited for that. Trying not to talk about Coinbase for the full two hours straight because everybody's going to get bored of me. But I don't know. I'm having some fun. What, what, what's up with you guys? What's We're going on, Luke? Great to see you. Thanks Thanks so much for having us today. Um, yeah, we've just been trading the market all day. Uh, have a bunch of our pro traders, you know, putting out trades, market analysis, etc., uh, pretty, pretty regular, a little bit of a choppy day, not as bad as yesterday, but we're a little bit more green than red than yesterday. That's for sure. So, uh, just the usual, I know you guys are talking about some great stocks and thanks again for having us today. For, for sure, man. All right. I, I like you guys. You just jump straight into it. You, you haven't been on this show before, so I'll just give you a heads up. There, there's three things we promise on the show. One is, is trade ideas, the best trade idea resource out there. Two is gimmicks. You know, I, I deliver plenty of gimmicks all day, every day. That, that That's what I'm best at. And number three is jokes. We haven't gotten to jokes yet today, but but maybe you can help us out on that front. But 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 at least starting off with trade ideas. What, what, what's on your radar today? What what are some of the stocks you're looking at? Just trades you're in, et cetera. Yeah, that's a great question. So um, Vishu, I know Vishu is uh, he's our uh, chief operations and chief investment officer at Eagle Investors. He can certainly talk about uh, this just as probably more than me, but uh, taking a look at some stuff, um, you know, we have a crypto section, small cap section, uh, everything from options, futures, uh, equities as usual that we trade. Uh, but mostly we're looking at the equity market today. Um, we're bull on Amazon, uh, bull on JP Morgan as well. Uh, one thing that we've been making a lot of money off scalping today is Roblox, uh, RBLX. I know they uh, IPO'd a little bit ago. Uh, it is a technology company. They're doing super well today. Uh, up really nicely it actually just broke out of that uh resistance and it's pretty much clear skies so uh, we've been scalping that with our traders um yeah guys well check this out these market. are the daily candles on roblox and then i'm gonna go back to amazon in a second here too you, you see this previous all-time high in roblox the the trend is your friend it just just a general market rule and this is something that's been proven in plenty of academic studies when, when a stock breaks a 52 week high odds are it'll keep breaking it we're definitely seeing that with roblox today so Round of applause on you guys and getting into some of that action. Thank you, Luke. And Vishu, do you want to go ahead? I know you're watching a lot of stuff. And, and yeah, Amazon uh, too. Let me just, just go back to Amazon. Check this out, guys. These are daily candles on Amazon. We, 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 we've got two highs right here, right around what, what is this level? It's 34, 33-ish, some, somewhere in that ballpark. You'll be able to spot it better on your charts uh, than I'm eyeballing it right now. But it looks like we got rejected at that high again today. So that's a level to watch on Amazon. But all right, I, I, I cut you off. Keep going. So something that I'm looking for, I'm more of a macro trader. So I try to look at the macro environment and something that I'm looking into is the vaccine rollout and the fact that we're seeing a lot of pent up demand and we've seen excess savings for the past couple of months. So I believe that we could see a large transition towards the services as well as the discretionary spending space. Two names that I'm looking into particular are Win as well as Las Vegas Sands. I think there's a lot of opportunity for these stocks longer term. I'm looking to hold them into the summer as well. Um, they're uh, two of my value plays, which I think will recover um, as we see the vaccine rollout and we see that pent up savings be uh, consumed over the next few months as well. Okay. I, it makes sense. Uh, the the most bullish news that I've heard from the space yet came yesterday out of Uber ticker U B E R. Um, Uber said yesterday that that their May their March bookings, and I don't know exactly what the definition of bookings is. If somebody in Zinger Nation wants to look that up real quick and drop a definition in the chat, that would be helpful. But but I'm assuming that it has it's at least closely related to the number of people using Uber riding Uber's ride sharing service. So their March bookings was the highest in company history. So so if you're talking about Win and you're talking about Ticker LVS, uh, you know it definitely speaks to okay, the, p people are itching to to get out there and spend some money. Yep. Well, do, do, do you have any sort of a timeline on the trade? You know, how, how far out you're looking, et cetera. So I think I'm looking to hold it to, uh, throughout the summer. I think in particular during the summer, we're going to see a lot of spending uh, just due to, due to that pent up demand. And then after the summer, I think we might see a little bit of a drop off in demand. So I think like beginning of summer will be like the ideal time to get into it uh, for this trade to uh, start moving higher. Okay. All right, that that's helpful, and we and we just jumped straight into stocks today. T tell us a little bit about Eagle. Yeah, great question, Luke. So Eagle Investors was founded a little bit under two years ago. Um, we're an online data sharing and information community. 
Uh, we have a Discord, and we also are coming out with our own app, um, and we have a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Uh, overall, uh, what we do is we produce market analysis throughout the market day. We provide a lot of different data. I know we're getting some stuff from Benzinga as well, um, but we're we're really big for spreading information. We've blown up with the retail trader boom boom in the last year, year and a half. Um, we have close to 100,000 members uh, in our server. Uh, it's only growing every single day. We have a super, super tight community um, with pro traders, semi-pro traders, and even novices. But our big thing there is to uh, help people. We're not in there for the money. We're there to help people uh, achieve financial freedom. I'm sure very similar to you, Luke, and um, and this show. You know, we run uh, very similar shows and programs just to help uh, you know spread that information and knowledge. Um, and yeah, really appreciate you having us on. We also put out stock trades and alerts. I know Vishu has a win alert out. Um, we had some of our pro traders with Roblox uh, uh, stream alerts out earlier today. But yeah, we pretty much do it all, and we have a we have a bright future. And I really appreciate you taking us on today. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. And and where, where where can folks head you to hear more? Yeah. Uh, so they can easily go to our website, it's just eagle-investors.com. You can join free there. We offer a ten day. Right, get that in the chat for everybody. Eagle-investors.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and come join us, guys. Uh, we'll be happy to see you. Just all you got to do is accept your trial. You get a free 10 days with us. No strings attached. Uh, you can just see if you like it or not. Uh, feel free to reach out to any of us on there at any time. We're happy to answer you. We'll answer you within minutes. Um, any question you have, uh, we have market analysis posted. And we also have alerts posted. So just let us know. Uh, we're really looking forward to see you. See you. you. Thank you. And, and when you talk about information sharing, is that basically trade ideas are, are just flowing all day or, or what sort of information is it? Yeah, exactly. So um, that's exactly what the information is. We're revolving around the U.S. equity markets, um, but we're also dabbling in international markets as well. Pretty much we have people from Europe, Canada, uh, Asia as well. Um, and we're pretty much 24-7 around the book. Information sharing specifically um, is whether it's a trade idea, whether it's analysis or just thoughts on the general security. Um, you know, you might be looking at something, you might get confirmation from somebody, but there's five other people there to develop their opinion with their due diligence. So five people doing their due diligence is always better than just one person. And that diversity of thought can be brought together in almost like a think tank uh, to get the best ideas um, and to do the best for all of us. So, yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time to come on and hang out with us today. Uh, and, and hopefully some, some, some of the, the Zinger Nation members will become Eagle Nation members. Do you call it Eagle Nation? We call it uh, the Eagle Team. We're the Eagle Team, but Eagle Nation, Zing, uh, Zing Nation is also awesome. Hope to see you guys soon. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Luke. Take care. Thank you. Bye.